Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this pulse animation using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called pulse animation and I just opened it with VS Code. And I also have this folder called images where we have this image which we're going to use in our design. So let's start by creating the necessary file. So let's create a new file called index.html. And let's create another file called styler CSS. And let's start with the index.html file. In VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. And now let's start with the markup of our design. So what we will do is we will create a container division and let's give it a class of pulse container. And in that, we need to have these animations and also this image. So for each of the pulse, we'll create divisions. And uh, let's create a division with a class of pulse for that. And I'll just duplicate it two more times. And we'll just go ahead and uh, name it pulse1, pulse2 and pulse3 because uh, we will add some delay between these uh, animations. And uh, then let's go ahead and create the image. So I'll just create an IMG tag and for the source, I'll just type images forward slash kingfisher.jpg. And now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So if we go to extensions and if you scroll down here, we can see that I have already installed this extension called live server. So if you already have this installed, you can just right click over here and uh, click on open with live server. And here we can see that our uh, design is being displayed in the browser. Right now let's go ahead and start with the styling. So let's go back to our CSS file and uh, first of all, let's select everything and uh, let's set the box sizing to border box so that we have the correct width and height for all the elements. And uh, let's set the margin to zero and uh, the padding to zero for all the elements. And uh, now let's go ahead and target the body. And let's bring this to the center. So let's type display of grid, place items to the center. And uh, let's set the height to 100 viewport height. And now we can see that the element is in the center. We'll also slightly change the background color. So let's tap background and uh, let's set it to F0, F0, F0. Right now let's target this image. And for the image, uh, let's also add a class. So let's add a class called round image. And let's target that over here. So I just type round image. And uh, let's add some styles over here for the image. Let's set the width and the height to 150 pixels. And we need to have round shape. So let's type border radius and uh, let's set it to 50%. And let's set the Z index to one so that it is above the pulse. And this is how the image looks right now. Right now let's style the pulse. So here we can see that the pulse are inside the pulse container division and we need to position this pulse relative to this container division. So first of all, let's target the container. So I'll just have pulse container. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, set the position to relative. And now let's go ahead and target the pulse. So I'll just have pulse and we have three divisions. We have pulse one, then we have pulse two, and uh, we also have pulse three. And let's add some styles for these uh, divisions. So let's set the position to absolute. So this will be positioned relative to the pulse container. And let's set the width and the height to 150 pixels, just like the image. And uh, let's set the border radius to 50% for the round shape. And let's set the Z index to zero. And uh, let's add a background color of 003566. And now we can see that we have the pulse division displayed over here, but the image is below the pulse division. But we have already set the Z index of one over here, but it is not being applied because uh, this has a position value. So we need to set some position over here. So let's tap position and uh, let's set it to relative. And now we can see that the image is on top of the pulse. All right, now let's go ahead and add the animation. So I'll just create an animation and uh, I'll just give it a name of pulse. And let's set the duration to three seconds and let's run it for infinite amount of times. And now let's create the animation. So let's tap at keyframes and we have named it pulse. 
and for the first frame let's go ahead and type transform scale of 1 and opacity of 1 and for the last frame so let's tap 100% here let's tap transform and let's set the scale of the pulse division to 1.5 so it will increase the scale and then we'll set the opacity to 0 as we reach the last frame so now let's save this and let's go back and here we can see we have the pulse animation being displayed now all these three pulse divisions are having the same animation so let's go ahead and add some animation delay for each of them so that we have this kind of effect so let's go ahead and target the second pulse and uh, let's add an animation delay and let's set it to one second so it will play after one second and for the third one let's set the animation delay to two seconds so the first pulse will play instantly then we have the second pulse which will play after one second and the third pulse will play after three seconds so let's go back and now we can see we have this pulse animation over here and now you can go ahead and change the color of the pulse to whatever you want so for example if I just change this to red now we can see that we have this red pulse animation so that's basically how you can create this pulse animation using HTML and CSS alright so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day